Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 17th of 2023. Well, it is titled shells and arcs around star CW Leonis. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an example of an unusual star. Now it's a variable star from its naming. And it is one of the stars in the constellation of Leo the lion. It is actually the closest to the of the carbon stars of whatever known as carbon stars. So what is a carbon star? Well, first of all, it's not a star made completely of carbon, as you might expect from the name. It is a star that has an excess of carbon in it. Not a lot. It's still the star is still vastly made up of hydrogen and helium, as are all stars. But it does have an excess of carbon. Now, they're also very large, giant stars. And it is possible that they are bringing up carbon that is produced in their core too closer to the surface that could lead this to being enhanced. Now, then some of that gets expelled out into space and is some of the dusty areas around this and gets expelled out in the unstable stages of these stars. So the stars, the outer layers can get expelled out, we can push some of this then carbon and other carbon compounds out into space. Now, as we could guess from this, it's not something that happens all at once, it seems to happen in stages. So it's a relatively regular process and that there are times when the star is unstable enough and expels some of these outer layers out into space. Now, why is this important and interesting? Well, carbon is, of course, what life is based on on Earth. And where does carbon come from? Well, there was no carbon formed in the Big Bang. In the origin of the universe, it was only hydrogen and helium and all heavier elements were formed through various different uh, stages of stars. And in fact, formed in the centers of stars or through massive supernova explosions or even through mergers of very massive stars. So that carbon that makes us up could have been in one of these types of stars in the distance past. So if you think about it, it was actually at the core of the star being formed from helium fusion where helium atoms are fused into carbon, and then eventually dredged up to the surface, and then expelled out into space. And over many over a billion years or so that material will eventually become part of the interstellar medium that will then allow future generations of stars to form. So the carbon atoms in our bodies could have once been in the shells that we see here around some other distant carbon star that no longer exists. So that was our picture of the day for July 17th of 2023. It was titled Shells and Arcs Around Star C.W. Leonis. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Telescopes and Sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.